All right, guys, so um, first off, I want to apologize for not having an episode last week. Uh, pretty much all I did last week was play this. This is this was my whole last week. And then, on top of that, I played this too. Um, my girlfriend got me this for my birthday, which is... Um, today's Monday, so it's tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday the 20th of November so she got me that for my birthday so I was playing that too so my w week was all just video games and chatting with uh, everybody on Google Plus so um yeah come come play Xbox with me um, I'll put my gamer tag down below and uh, and uh, join us um, in Google Plus chats it's really fun you know it's usually me Rick Dominguez uh, James Collins JC um say what day spring uh who else is on there billy mahoney's on there a lot um aj frost um bob the odd that's just a couple of people to name uh so yeah come hang out with us on google plus it's real fun get we sit there and talk about all kinds of stuff figures and you know life so yeah, um, so here we go. Alright guys, so I wish I would have taken you with me on this um, little toy run. <laughs> Not much of a little toy run, but um, just figuratively speaking. Anyway, so yeah, I wish I would have grabbed the camera, but after I dropped my girlfriend out off at work, I decided to just go and hit some stores, so I didn't think to bring my camera with me, which was really dumb. So anyway... Um, <clears throat> what we see here are two of the SDCC themed, um, Sentinels from Marvel Universe, whatever, Masterworks. Uh, now I have a total of four, I think I'm stopping there, I, unless I see one of these, uh, colored ones. I might want one or two of them, just so it looks like unfinished, in a way, or it gives, you know, some variation to the, uh, uh, Sentinels that I'm going to be displaying. So anyway, yeah, I got them. Um, I know some people are saying that they're like 20 bucks at their Rosses and TJ Maxx. And I got them at TJ Maxx, but they were 30, which it doesn't really make any sense because other places like California have them for like 20, 25 or something like that. But I don't know if you guys have the same problem or same situation in your area. Anyway, so there's two of them. Um, went over to Target. And I couldn't believe that these were actually on the shelves because Target never has anything, ever. They have all the old stuff. So, and Bumblebee's galore like any other place. But anyway, so there's a Sergeant Cup from, I believe this is the same mold as Ironhide or whatever. Uh, Rumble. Pretty cool. And this is what I really couldn't believe was two Viacons. So I got really lucky. Um, I'm at currently at six, I guess. If you include the um, what are they? First edition ones. So I got four first edition, two of the uh, RID ones. So anyway, now here comes the best part. I actually found the masterpiece Prime at retail in Philadelphia extremely shocked um every store said that they weren't expecting any this that and the other thing went up to toys r us there's nothing there nothing i i was so mad when i went up there they had nothing nothing that i even wanted nothing that was even worth buying at, of anything so <clears throat> i decided on my way home that i would stop by this little toys r us that barely carries i don't know if you guys have toys r us like this in your area but they barely carry certain lines like for the longest time, they didn't carry Legends. I just saw them there today, which was kind of uh, um, surprising because they usually don't carry them. But anyway, this guy right here has a nice story. I'm walking up and down the aisles. I'm not seeing anything I want to buy at this Toys R Us. I'm like, eh, here we go again, you know. And um, this baby keeps screaming, and it drives me crazy. Like, 
I, I understand that they're a baby, but the parents aren't doing anything about it, which they should pay attention to, to their kid, which they weren't. They left the kid in the shopping cart and walked away from it for like, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. And the kid's screaming. And I don't blame the kid. But anywho, it's not what this is about. And so I just go to see why the kid's screaming at the end of the aisle of, of uh, the action figure aisle. I, I like go to look and see what this baby's screaming about and I hit my leg on something and I look down and sure enough it was the masterpiece Optimus Prime and the funny thing was is that this was on the shelf like where I don't know if you guys have this set up in your store but it's just like the random junk that's usually like discounted like um what's on the end there like Reddick High or something like that those kind of things and this guy was like hanging off the side of the shelf literally about to fall i almost knocked him off by t like hitting him with my leg and uh i was like what was that and i looked down and I'm, i literally like as corny as this sounds i almost had a heart attack when i saw this because you you can't find these anywhere like the big toys r us's that i go to i drive you know all the way out to you know half hour to an hour away just to look for this they don't have it and they had one here which was really cool. So I ended up spending a lot more money than I wanted to originally. I got these first, and since they were all there, I bought them all up right, you know, right there because you know Toys R Us didn't have anything. And then these guys came later because I figured, hey, why not just stop at four? Because that's what I wanted to stop at. And then when I saw him, I'm like, damn, I spent all this money already, but I have to get it because. You know, I'm going to miss out if I don't. And I, for some of you may have known for a while that I've been uh, wanting to get this. So, And I'm a huge Transformers fan. So anyway, enough about my life. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, my haul for today. Packages. Okay, so I uh, finally got the two packages that I've been waiting on in the mail uh, I feel like this is the only time I've ever got um, two packages in one day I don't know maybe I did maybe I didn't in my history uh, so anyway first one on the tops from China no holes nothing I already inspected it so we're gonna cut it open um, I'm kind of weary about this because they did I mean they did pad it up but, you know, I went through China Post and Customs and, you know, all that stuff. So, I'm just hoping it's not destroyed. So, I'm going to cut this guy open. And let's see what we got. I mean, it's wrapped really well. I'll give him that. There's a ton of bubble wrap. You can tell by the thickness of this. Because I already know what's in here. Alright, so there's nothing in there. Uh, this is all taped up. That's kind of cool that they did that. I'm afraid I'm going to break them. He's bending a little bit. See if I can cut it a little bit more. It's probably the longest it's taken me to actually get the bubble wrap off. Come on. I'm sorry it's just taking so long. Jeez. There's like tape and bubble wrap everywhere, so it's giving me a little bit of a hard time. Wow, and then there's plastic, shrink wrap. That's what it looks like at least. Uh. All right, finally. So, here we have, uh, kinda looks bootleg. This might be bootleg, I am not sure. It's kind of, paint it really bad but this figure is supposed to be cyber spider-man 
Uh, I believe he's one of the Spider-Man Classics line figures. He had um, two gimmick accessories that came with him. I believe they were something like um, uh, like a missile launcher and something. A shield, maybe? I don't know. Anywho, uh, I saw this guy um, in a store, and I never picked him up. That was really dumb of me because I really wanted him. So when I went to go back, he was gone. And uh, so when I saw him on, online, you know, I researched him, found out the name of him. I thought it was kind of cool to uh, to pick up. I mean, even if this is bootleg, it's still kind of neat. I like the sculpting and stuff. It's just, it doesn't look like his wrist rotate at all. And I think on the original figure it does. And he's got just like a, kind of like a head swivel, but it's not going up and down much. It does have ball jointed hips here. Um, and a waist crunch. Oh. Did I break that? No, it just came out. That's pretty good, though. And, uh... He's got some ankle... Pivot. Ankle up and down. Double jointed knees. And I know there's, like, little, like... Gimmick thing. Yeah! Where did you put the trash can full of sticks? I emptied it. Oh, you emptied it? Yeah. I don't see uh, you guys see what I deal with. I can't get a moment of uh, privacy here to film a video. Anywho, um, I know. Well, since that's off, maybe we can take this one off too. Yeah, I know that his chest actually pops off. There we go. Yeah, this is. I think this is bootleg. Because he had this function where his chest came off. Um, not sure exactly what it did or what went in it. But um, when I get another one, if I, get, if I can get my hands on a real one, um, I'll show you guys how this worked. It kind of... Was I in front of the camera the whole time? I hope I wasn't. Anyway, yeah, I'll show you guys how that all works out because this is actually supposed to come off and be able to put back on and here it's uh, glued in as you can see the paint just pulled right off of this guy so it's supposed to have some type of function like that where it, it goes on and off and um you know something of that nature but i don't know i thought this guy was kind of a cool figure the sculpting's really really neat I, even though this may be a bootleg, I believe it is. Just the paint is, it was, you know, giving it away for me that it is one. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's got the licensing on it. On the bottom of his feet, you can't really see it, but it says Made in China. And then Hasbro 2005 Toy Biz. WW, whatever that stands for. Worldwide, maybe? I don't know. Prestige. Worldwide. Anyway, I just threw his uh, shoulder pad. But anyway, this dude's pretty cool looking, and I have an idea to use him for something. So we'll, uh, I will get into that a little bit later. Um, oh, one last thing about him. The This is the only one I've ever seen with a red and blue paint scheme. The other one, it was like a red and black, and the red was a lot darker. But overall, I'm happy about it. Okay, so now for the second package, which it looks to be in pretty good condition. No, yeah, no dings, dents, or anything. It actually looks really nice. I'm surprised. So, cut this guy open. Well, except for the fact that they use masking tape for some reason. It's not really good to use that. Yay! Good see it already. Instructions. Peanuts. Which I hate. I mean, they're good for use, but... I can't 
can't stand the sound of them. Okay. So, here we have the Transformer known as Grapple. This particular toy is cons is called Solar Storm Grapple. I don't know why. Just what he's called. So, anyway, this is the same mold as um, uh, Inferno. So, it's really cool to have another figure based off that mold. I don't, I don't have an Inferno, and if anybody else in, that watches my videos has one that they're willing to trade or sell, um, let me know, because I really want one of those. Anyway, um, really cool Transformer. Um, been wanting this guy for quite some time, too. Um, yeah. I'm not going to transform him on camera, but he looks to be in pretty good condition. I believe this is just, you know, right from a collector, or maybe even just a, a store that had some, you know, open transformers or whatever. So, anywho, um, always nice to get instructions. Oh, I cut the instructions. <laughs> it, you know, with the figure when you buy it. You know, even though it's from an eBay store. Like, that's really cool that they threw that in there. They didn't have to do that. Um, I'm sure it's pretty simple to transform them. But, anywho, uh, done ranting about nothing. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Package! Woo! Uh, this one's from Steven Stevens. And I'm not saying what Shane told me to say because I don't care. Oh, isn't this? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought this thing was gonna like come apart. What? <laughs> you can tell what I'm doing. Uh, this is bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, look, more bubble wrap. A CD. More bubble wrap. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is a transformer that's also the Batmobile. I can stand over this like this. It's giving me back problems. Oh my god, look, it's a twin! They're twins! How cute! And I still don't know what this is. That's it! Woo! Alright, recapping on my Viacon army here. Four each. Four RID, four first editions. Girlfriend burping in the background. But, I got one more. So five RIDs. Just got this one today. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, what do they have to do? I don't know. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Come on. Yeah. Go ahead. No. No, okay. <laughs> so yeah, do all that. Join the ACBA group and add me on Facebook, all of the above. All right, later. That's crispy. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Look, he's transformed. Woo, that's it, right? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't want to break them. Oh. Does this do something? No. no. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Pull apart his legs. That's what I did. And it's not working. Oh my god, I broke it. No, no, no. You're fine. Pull the arm all the way up. There you go.
Now pull part his legs. Yeah, you transform. That's it, right? Now pull down that. Then that folds up all the way. Uh -huh. Start from the small piece. Now. What the small hell? Small piece in. That piece in. That piece in. And clips in. This is stupid. Fold out the foot. There you go. That's awesome. That's the best part about that thing. This is stupid. Mm, we're stupid. I don't know what's blinking on your camera. This is, girl is too stupid to be on camera. Memory. Yeah. Turn them completely around. You don't turn them around? Oh. Feet I thought this was <laughs> this was the head here. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, Both hands. His arms. <laughs> he has nubs. <laughs> he doesn't have any hands. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He doesn't have any hands. Hand right there. Both Those are out. hands. There you go. He's got three fingers. <laughs> He's got three fingers. <laughs> What do, you, what do you call people like that? <laughs> deformed. <laughs> That's a deformed. The other way. No. <laughs> you just did the one side. It's the same exact thing. Well, I don't know. Sometimes it could, like, trick now me. Now feet. I don't even mean his feet. Now, I just his did toe. his feet. Put his toe out. <laughs> this is there his toe. you go. How is he going to walk now like you that? Comple you completely did it. No, I didn't. Yeah, that's done. Oh. That's it. This is stupid. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dips were they? Yeah. yeah what kind? Buffalo chicken. Wow, yeah. Molly. Yeah. What was the other one? Mm hmm. Taco dip. Taco. Yeah. Ranch. Yeah. What you doing? to get to dipping. That's what JC says. 